Hey, everybody, it's the coach. You're and we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the London Black Knights and the Green Bay Packers. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Shotgun now for Wentz. It's complete. This is Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. Touchdown. Todd Gurley with touchdown number seven on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. That is a quick strike. One play all the way to the house. You know, the pass was fine, but run after the catch impressive an absolute horrible time of course any time like this is a horrible time for a now after the touchdown ready to kick it away is Tavecchio. this will be fielded on the back line of the end zone and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now it's the Packers' turn to go on offense for the first time. Under center is a six-foot, two, 225-pound signal caller, Aaron Rodgers. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team, and you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it. But otherwise, just go ahead and calm your team down. Run the offense. Get things going and see how things settle in. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Quickly now, here's a look at the Green Bay offense. It's tough to be an offensive lineman in Green Bay because their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, knows how to keep plays alive and often extends them for three, four, five, six seconds. But David Bakhtiari, his left tackle, he does it as well as anyone could ever expect. Excellent footwork, knows that the plays are going to stay alive for a long time, often will get two or three blocks on the same play. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. A second broken tackle. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Todd Gurley in the offense. They get set and trot back out there now. Last week, a strong showing up over 100. Also, two trips to the end zone. It's the kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week, you'd sign up for it. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. But let's face it, good runners always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard. He's going to try and duplicate that and exceed it in this game. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. He was looking for his favorite target, A.J. Green, that time. And that'll bring up second down. Throwing now is Wentz. And he rifles one incomplete. Take a look at the starters here defensively for the Packers. They were very good a week ago in the win over Minnesota. And it was the pass rush that really keyed their victory. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. 
Working from the gun, Wentz. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. Wentz now on first down. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Wins. And he's got his man on the out route. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, it's Wentz. And this is caught. It's Edelman. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. Wins to throw again to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer, and likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Now Wentz toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Now Giorgio Tavecchio for the field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Tavecchio puts this one through, and the lead moves to 10-zip. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like in the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And that offense 
opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. This unit coming into this one ranked number 20 against the pass in the NFL. When they lack in pass defense, they do make up for in run defense. They're a top 10 unit against the people trying to move the ball on the ground. But this is a passing league. So there's a conundrum for them. How do they get better defending the pass? Now Jones. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and break it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Forty-six yards on the boot. The coverage Let's holds go. him to just three on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here are visitors to take over on offense. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Man, I got you. Man, I got you. Wentz now on first down. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. The numbers on the ground for Gurley last week. Two trips to the end zone and well past 100 yards. And going back and watching the film, we saw every kind of run from him, didn't we? We saw some power. We saw finesse. We saw speed. And what I love the most, he finished each and every run. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Throwing on first is Wentz. Looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And that'll make it third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. And that will be incomplete. But well, the passing game right now for them, not overly impressive. Last week he hit on right at 50%. This week he's under 50%. And it's not just on him. Protection, a few breakdowns along the way. That's made him get off the spot. Receivers not getting their way open downfield. The coverage has been awfully tight. They've got to all get together and find ways to make this passing game get in gear. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, 
Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? 31 yards there to first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. You got nothing. Now Rodgers. Let's this one rip toward Gray. This is caught inside the 15. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Rodgers to throw on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He'll get this off to Jamal Williams. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 13 yards, first down, Packers. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Thirteen nothing is the score after one on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Rodgers looking middle and that's complete. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. At the 27-yard line. Here's Jones. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. The Packers on third down. Just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. The kick by Elliott is good. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13 to 3. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. Carson Wentz, along with his offense, heading back out there for their next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Now throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. On the toss, it's Gurley. He finds an opening past the 40, and he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage is coming. In a sense, that just sets things 
First and ten, here's Wentz. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten. Here's Gurley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and 10. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 23 yards, the final tally. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Edo Smith, his first carry, and able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now wins. And that one's complete to Gurley. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. It's a seven yard gain there and it's good enough to move the chains. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits, and the creases like they were able to explore right there. The quick slant caught. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. That score was not a game clincher by any stretch of the imagination. But the other team now has to be careful to not let this game begin to slip away. Tavecchio good on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Tavecchio. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. Yeah, it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Two yards, good enough for a first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Off the play fake to Jones, here's Rodgers. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 48 and the return comes to a halt right at the 44 yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Now Gurley. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It's a 13-yard pickup as the downs reset. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Here's Wentz to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 
A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Wentz now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. They run. It's Gurley. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Todd Gurley with his second touchdown here in this first half. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we get to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it's finished off by a Todd Gurley touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Tavecchio. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We play to win. Let's Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Here's Rodgers to throw. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well to get a few stops. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. To throw again. Rodgers got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Rodgers now to throw. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. And Elliott puts this one through. And they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And our attention shifts to Todd Gurley. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. Looking to throw again on second down. Wentz, he's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. Complete to Julian Edelman. It's a game of four. 
And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver, and Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches used to call the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people after the catch. This time they stay on the ground. Yeah, I don't think Gurley got there. Boom! Looks like the defense yeah! held him back. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports halftime report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started out in Texas. NRG Stadium in Houston, where it was the Texans who picked up the victory at home. Deshaun Watson, a very good performance as his guys run the record now to 5-2. and two. Next, we head off to check out another game, and they were victorious in that one over the visiting Baltimore Ravens. 31-7, the final score. And then lastly, we wrap up the week with a good one on Monday Night Football between the New England Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs. In our game, it's been Carson Wentz with a strong first half. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Go, let's go. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. <laughs> we'll see if that script is a good one for them. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Throwing the football, he's not as sharp as he was last week when he was over 70%. Right now, he's under 50%. Well, that comes from extra game film, extra time. You know those guys watched him all week, saw how precise he was, and constructed a defense to try and chip away at that, and thus far they've been successful. A 40-yard punt, no return, and possession will switch hands first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Another carry now for Gurley. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. On play action, it's Wentz. He's going to go for a big play downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. And on now is the punter. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. 
He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. From the 24, Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now a first down carry by Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second down, it's Jones. Nine yards on the pickup there as they'll be left with third and one. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. Yeah, Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Todd Gurley in the offense, they get set and trot back out there now. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. The first down run with Gurley, a good one. He gets forward for six yards. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Again, they run with Gurley. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Now a draw play for Gurley. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They bring their punter out there now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this is a way, it's a high kick, and he got all of it. Let's go, let's do it. Now the Packers get set to go. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. 
These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw, it's Rodgers. And that's complete to Adams. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And our attention shifts to Todd Gurley. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen. They see the blocks happen. They feel really good about their vision. And then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front. From the 31, Wentz throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Joshua Jackson there to knock that one away. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. Yet another carry here tonight for Gurley. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And a nice little broken tackle run there by Todd Gurley, the 10th pick in the 2015 draft. And that's what you get with him. That full package of speed, power, able to catch the ball in the backfield. Many people doubted him coming out because of the knee injury in college. <laughs> They're seeing the full Todd Gurley now, and it hurts. Give him 30 yards there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now it's Gurley. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Todd Gurley, his third touchdown of the game, number nine on the season. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. So he's in for his third score of the game, and a defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you, but for one person to get three, it almost sets him apart from the rest of the game, and no one likes to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Back now at Lambeau. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. On second and 12, Rodgers, and he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it's third down. The Packers on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third down and 12. And Rodgers is going to go down. Sacked. Grady Jarrett making his presence felt. He gets the sack. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. This is brought in at the 21. Muscling free near the 40. 21 yards. Well done on the return. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself. But you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, 
Just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little Face bit. Mask. Defense. Well, they're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Blake Martinez, the linebacker, was there in coverage to disrupt. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Wentz going to throw. Finding green complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. 12 yards there and a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Gurley. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, they... Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away, it's Tavecchio. This one fielded at the five. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. The safety Keanu Neal there to knock that one free. To throw once more on second and 10. Rodgers, and he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Rodgers going to throw. Well, this is caught by Williams. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Rodgers now on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Here's Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Rodgers to throw once more. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That right now, 
That's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly. So that'll come back to the 20. So here are visitors to take over on offense. Well, this ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you, you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But you know, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is. And I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to have to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday. Which was also impressive. Which was also very yeah. impressive. But this game, how they've done it, offense, defense, special teams. They've put it all together. And I gotta tell you, I am beyond impressed by what I've seen from this team. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Double tight, double tight. On the counter, Gurley. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Get ready, get ready. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. On first down, it's Gurley. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Delay of game, offense. And that'll set him back five. Still second down. Here we go, Come on, boy. Come on, boy. What's this on? You better be ready. Don't be scared of it. <laughs> now a handoff for Gurley. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. So it's our visitors with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. Oh man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. So they bring out their punter as he's on to kick it away. Amazing, perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. 
And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked up by DeMonte Casey. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. On the handoff, it's Gurley. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. He chalked that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Wentz now to throw. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. I tell you, Charles, you play to the final whistle, I get that, but there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with this one. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. The lefty Tavecchio now to add the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Tavecchio. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple Let's extra go. yards Let's up go. to the 27 Let's yard line. Come on, 27 yard line. <laughs> Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's gonna let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for our visitors, they remain one of the hottest teams out there as the wind moves them to 6-1. and one. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, the loss drops them back to 4-3 and three so far. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.